So who's the strongest Hokage and who's the weakest Hokage? What's up everybody, Fenebo World here, and I recently started re-watching Naruto Shippuden and a couple other things I've been watching, like um, some old fights from the original Naruto, like I remember when um, the third Hokage fought the first and second when they were brought back by Orochimaru and the original one, and I recently re-watched that as well, and it kind of had me thinking about the Hokages and, well, which ones are the strongest and which ones are the weakest? Well, this is how I see it. I definitely gotta say that I think Tsunade is the weakest out of all of them. She hasn't done much. Her power, you know, even when she went up against Kabuto, she barely, you know, stood her own. And I actually think he wore her out over time. Yeah, he was running and such, but still, she was foolish enough to chase uh, Orochimaru and Kabuto in the original. And, you know, she couldn't even beat somebody like Kabuto and the other legendary Hokages, you know, what they have done. She automatically goes to the bottom of the list. Next on the list, I'd say, from weakest to strongest, I'd say is the third Hokage, Sadotobi. Because, I, I don't know, I just don't see him as the strongest. He kind of like, you know, at best he could have, when he went up against Orochimaru, he couldn't really even defeat him. Yeah, he was in his old age and probably at his prime he was a lot stronger. But, I don't know, I, I kind of don't see, especially when you compare him to the first, second, and fourth. I think that he, him as well wasn't really all that strong. But he was stronger than Tsunade, I believe. And he did a lot more for the village than Tsunade. So I'd say that he's, you know, second to last of, as far as you know the weakest goes but you know again that's you know kind of averaging it out with things of what you've seen and such um next on the list would probably have to be the second Hokage. Uh, you know, I don't really know too much about him. I know that he was very strong and I know some of the stuff that he did. And I kind of just see him as he was more stronger than definitely Tsunade. And even the third, because, you know, the third was his successor, but the third really wasn't as grand as him. And granted, by the way, you, you got to give the third uh, Hokage props because he did go up against the first and second when they were brought back by Orochimaru. But I believe they weren't as strong or as wise as they were when they were alive because their consciousness was taken from them and you know especially in Naruto the whole will of fire thing and you know their, their desire to save their people definitely helps in them you know win battles and such so they didn't really have that drive and that's probably why the third was able to you know kick some butt so I definitely said the second would probably be you know the the third strongest weird yeah. and then uh between number one and two it's really hard to decide between the first and fourth hokage because they did so much for their you know times as a uh, hokage they defeated legendary stuff you know the fourth he sealed up the nine tails granted he did it in a horrible way inside of his son but you know he did what he had to do and the first hokage he supposedly defeated madara uchiha however you know with the, the latest events i guess he defeated him but he didn't actually kill him but you know if i have to say if i really had to pick which one i think is stronger I, i'd probably have to go with the first hokage over the fourth and the reason being is because the first hokage did in fact defeat Madara Uchiha and you know back in the day and you know if Toby of, of you know the way we saw Toby he was probably a lot even weaker back then when he fought the fourth and the fourth really you know he was going up against Toby but the Toby was kind of giving him a challenge and such and he was really like it was a desperation to try to get him he, he did you know put in some quote-unquote work on him but I, I feel as though I don't know I, I kind of you could see the difference like you know he, he defeated Madara the first, and the fourth kind of struggled up against Toby. He defeated him. But at the same time, the fourth, you know, he was able to seal up the nine tails at the cost of his life. So, you know, it, it all balances out. But I still say that I believe the first, Hashirama, was a lot, you know, not a lot, but definitely stronger than the fourth and so on and so forth. And I think he was the strongest because he just, he even set the tone of what the ninja world is, you know, today by defeating Madara. If Madara would have won, everything would have been a lot different. So a lot was riding on that battle. So he definitely accomplished, I believe, uh, a great feat as well as the fourth because, you know, he did save the village from the nine tails and such. But I just think that the first was a lot stronger, to be honest with you. And if you even see the, the manga, if Madara was even half as strong as he is in what he's doing in the manga right now, then you got to give props to Hashirama in the first because he really went in and, you know, he beat a, a monster because Madara in the uh, in, you know, latest chapters of, of Naruto, he's just really going crazy and strong and you know even half of what he's doing right now is still incredible for somebody to defeat because you know he is powered up with uh you know the cells i believe of the uh, first but 
or something like that. Something Kabuto gave him a power. So, you know, but let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think that the first was the strongest or the fourth or maybe one of the other Hokages do you think was the strongest Hokage? And do you agree with my list of, so basically the strongest is the first then the fourth, then the second, then the third, then the fifth. Do you agree with that or disagree? Um, you know, let me know your thoughts. Again, I've been having a blast. I recently started rewatching this, and at this point, I, the episodes fly by when you go back and rewatch Putin. It really just they just fly by. Give it a try sometime if you have the boxes or you have the episodes available to you. Go and try to rewatch this, and you'll see what I mean. That it's a really easy uh, watch when you go back and check it out a second time, and you get a little bit nostalgic with it as well because you see, oh man, this great moment. Oh, Naruto returns to the village. That's so awesome. Oh man, you know, you really uh, go back with the characters and such. But that's all I have. For this particular video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed thumbs up for you know your favorite kage and who you think was the greatest hokage as well and yeah have an awesome day people